Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And before I start talking about today's content, I'll just make an apology for not posting for such a long time as I am a student and I need to do some other study stuff. So I do not have much time to do all this. But now I am back and I will be making content. And by the title, you might have already known that I am starting some sort of a series on this channel. It's going to be called Arsenal Discussions. Basically, okay, it's not the Roblox Arsenal game that some of you might play. It's Arsenal Football Club. And um, as you know, I am an Arsenal fan. And basically, these videos will, are going to be posted once every Arsenal game is played. And why is it called Arsenal Discussions? So after the game, we will just discuss about what could be done better, what was good about last uh, the game that was like played before that, I guess. And then we we'll just discuss and I'll make a video about it. If we lose or if we make a bad result, I'll get mad. So I will give away a volume, uh, what is that called? Um, I will give away volume, volume disclaimers. Wait, what is that called? Oh my god. Um, volume alerts. Okay. So, um, today will be the first video because at the time of recording, it was just last night. It was Arsenal against Man City in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Okay, so. Before I start talking about it, I just want to say, um, if you're not a football fan, you might not like this type of videos. I will be making more series that are for football fans and non-football fans. But just cope with me and try to uh, give me some views. Okay. And do remember to subscribe. Okay, so... Oh my god. So last night, Arsenal against Man City in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. So I was thinking, we beat Liverpool. We must be able to beat Man City, right? No. We lost. Okay, if we lost, I understand. It's Man City. I saw no other shizer. But we lost 4-1. Like, are you serious? Like, that shouldn't be happening. Okay, so... First, before anything happens, I'll just have to take a look at the lineups. Why are we playing Runarsson? Runarsson has no experience at all. He played for Dijon in the French League. Okay, if you want to start him in the Europa League against Down Duck and Rapid Vuelta, Molde, fine. He will get a good game. But this is Manchester City. So what if it's Carabao Cup? It should be Leno in goal. And who plays Mustafi nowadays? Do you see the first goal? The goal that Jesus scored? Mustafi should be marking Jesus. But when Jesus passed the ball to Foden, Mustafi is supposed to run after Jesus. What did Mustafi do? He stopped running. He ran to Foden. And that's how the cross came in. And Jesus is unmarked. And that's how we and that's how Man City scored in just the third minute. Third minute. And why play college sin match? He's like on the verge of leaving now. If I was Ateta, I will just terminate his contract. Why play college sin match? Play TNE. TNE has much more experience despite college sin match being more senior. Kolasinac is just getting older, he's gonna run slower and we need fast fullbacks. And who plays Mustafi as a right back? Gabriel, can you just stop? Can, can Gabriel just stop changing his hairstyle and actually pay attention to defending? And we're playing Midland now on the left. You think he has a left foot? Uh, right foot for a reason. He plays on the right. Why play him to the left? Cedric Soas, I have nothing to say. He had an average game. El Nani, however, 
What was he doing to give away that free kick like at the wait? Like at the fifty fourth minute. What was our nanny doing? Sabayos very average. I don't even know what to say right now. Okay, so El Nani, uh, that foul he made, and I forgot who, I don't care about Man City anymore. He still wanted to appeal that it was not a free kick. He was lucky, or was just by the box, it could have been a penalty. What was El Nani doing? Sabayos, very average. So average. He could have done better. I never understand why his home club is at Real Madrid. Joe Willock. All you have is speed. What are your skill? What is your knowledge? You you need to think who to pass to. Lacazette. Okay, he got a goal. I'm actually happy with him. He actually tried his best to go up and try to shoot. Martinelli is the only person I can actually praise properly. Martinelli, good cross into Lacazette. Very good cross. He crossed it. Man City. Defender, I think he was Laporte, headed it out. It was back to Lac uh, it was back to Martinelli. He crossed in again. Lacazette scores. That's how he equalized. But guess what? In the second half, Man City scored three. Three. And why? Because out of our back three. Especially El Nani in midfield to give away that free kick. And what was Runasen doing? The free kick, he caught it and he slipped off his head. Who does he think he is? Carriers? Arsenal is not even in the Champions League, let alone be in the Champions League final. He doesn't play for Liverpool, he's not Carriers. This team is going down, down, down. If you don't improve, we're gonna get relegated in the Premier League. And that Man City keeper, I absolutely hate him now. Stefan. Stefan. You go slide into Martinelli, he got injured. And let's say this, Martinelli was injured from March until last night. Last night was his first game after coming back from injury. And guess what? Stefan caused Martinelli to get another injury. So now Pep Guardiola just wants a home and city team to injure our squad. And I think it was... I think it was wait, who was it? I think Ria Mares actually need like use his knee to hit the back of Lacazette. And what did the referee do? Play on. The referee only blew the whistle. He only blew the whistle because he saw Lacazette down. What did he do to Real Mares? Nothing! Not even a warning! I have no idea what's going on. Like, this Arsenal team, it's either some of the bad players, I'm not gonna say bad players, most of the players that are not performing leave or Ateta out. But to me, just, just let those bad performing players leave. Because Ateta, all you can do is shout commands at the sideline. And Runarsson, you have to take the blame. Runarsson has to take the blame for that free kick. Because Ateta can't just go in and save it. It's Runarsson's job. He's a goalkeeper. He should have some experience at least in the French League. Then he played for Dijon. He had the experience against PSG in the French League. And what did he do here? A carrier's. Oh my god. First video for Arsenal discussions and you are making me mad. Today is just not that mad yet. I could be shouting like crazy if I'm actually mad. Oh, I have no idea what to do with Arsenal now. Okay, fine. Shaka, Shaka didn't play tonight, Granit Shaka. But he needs to be out. He's gone. You leave him. Ateta, I also think that he must be out. How about Miang? We release 15 senior players just to renew your contract and what do you do? Nothing. And now you're injured. 
you know what? That's all for that's all for today. I'm nothing to say. I'm mad. And let's just hope Arsenal improve or we're going to the championship next season. I'll see you in the next video then. Goodbye.